Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you from the live room at Well Said Media in Ithaca, New York and I'm joined by my buddy Frank Towner, another cowboy boot enthusiast in these parts. And today we're gonna do a quick impression about a brand new JW Boot Company signature boot called the Votary. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. Now, Frank, how did you get into wearing cowboy boots? Because I remember when we met, that's pretty much, I, I spotted you from across the room. I was like, there's another guy who wears cowboy boots. I gotta go talk to him. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, for our, our listening audience, he spotted that I, and he knew exactly that they were ostrich leg, not ostrich skin, which was very impressive. <laughs> I've been wearing boots since I was in sixth grade. My first pair of boots were a classic pair of brown boots with kind of a fluffy, warm interior with a belt buckle across the, the front and I never stopped wearing them. After that I had always gotten another pair of boots. When we were kids we we always got into the square toed with the rings on the side, what we call motorcycle boots. Oh yeah, the harness boots. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We, we went through several pair of those and then just always had a pair of western boots, uh, pointed po toe boots or J, J toes and been wearing them ever since, and, and I'm just not comfortable in a pair of shoes. Yeah. I've got a pair, but I don't wear them. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame you, I'm the same way. So this kind of boot is right in your style. It's got the snip toe. Um, you also, that's what the boots you were wearing the day that I saw you were, the J toe. So the pointed toe is your preferred style. Yes, yeah, you see what I've got here, if you see these. You've guys seen the video on these. <laughs> They're great. But we need to break down the details of this Western boot in particular. And Frank, I always do that and call it the rundown. Okay. <laughs> the rundown. Here we have the Votary. It is the JW Boot Company signature line boots. There's only two in the line right now. This one here and uh, my boot here, the Ithaca. So this is a very special line in JW Boot Company right now, and it features their blue oiled kid skin leather, which is goat. So you can see that it's kind of a different coloring. And the cool thing about this kind of blue or navy is that it changes its look depending on what light you're in. So if you take these outside the studio lights, it might look almost gray or if you're in a room that uses more like warm lighting, it will look completely different. So it's really cool to see how these change in different lighting. But since it is also oiled, it kind of is gonna give it a pull-up effect. So where this boot bends the most, the blue will come through a little bit more. So you can kind of see how it's a little bit more blue down by the welt. Mm -hmm. So that might happen when you bend this boot and we'll find out when you try it on. And it's not a disturbing blue. Like, if they were bright blue, then they it just, it would take away the sharp, uh, prestigious look of the boot. Yeah, it's, it's gonna go with a lot more different kinds of pants, just because it is a little bit more of a reserved blue. Then for a toe shape here, we got the snip toe. It was attractive as soon as I walked in the room, and you could spot the boot. And I've never had a snip toe like this before, and always admired them, and it, it goes back to the, the original cowboy tradition that you want a toe that's forward enough so you can get it into the stirrups without catching them and that yet this you still got a little square without being really the, the new ones that are like two and a half to three inch. Yeah, right? Front end. So <laughs> yeah, very attractive. And it comes in at about 12 inches tall, I believe, and it has a black Venus calfskin top. So this is a very soft, uh, and supple top, really nice leather. And of course you have that blue stitching up top too to tie it back into the blue goatskin foot. Yeah. yeah, that's where the blue really comes out and, and is attractive. Then for a heel down here, we got about an inch and a half stacked leather heel. So that's mm -hmm. uh, one piece of leather stacked upon each other with a rubber heel cap. And that's a nice heel height. Uh, do you ever like to go like higher than an inch and a half? <clears throat> no, as a matter of fact, the, the ones that I've got, Tony Lamas. Oh yeah, those buckaroos. Yes, those are tall. Mm -hmm. And you really feel the difference. And, and fortunately with a tapered heel, I can get the full step in on them, 
but I feel, I, I'm 6'1", and I jump right up to 6'3", with those on. And they're just a little little too tall. Yeah, I don't feel like uh, guys that are our height really need that no. for just like casual wear. Of course, it definitely comes in as a working cowboy boot that that's, that, that's an advantage. But for casual wear, this is a classic size and kind of my favorite heel shape here with that underslung. Yeah. For an outsole, it's leather and uh, it's a 10 to 11 iron. So it's, it's a hard outsole. So you might have a little bit more difficulty breaking these in than other, uh, other cowboy boots, but once they're broken in, they're awesome. Like, trust me, it did take a little bit longer for me to break in my Ithaca JW Signature boots, but once it was done, it was awesome. Then you also have lemonwood pegs down here alongside the shank, which is traditional because it expands in a similar way when it gets wet that leather does. So that's oh. why there's not brass nails in here because brass nails don't expand and when the leather expands, um, when it gets wet, sometimes those brass nails can come out. So this that's, is traditionally made here. Traditional lemon wood pegs. Mm -hmm. Wow, didn't know that, that's why we're here. Then I noticed the, the curve is already in the boot. Some boots are, are just flat. Yeah. And this already has a walk and curve into it. Don't there you love it how the how the toe kind of comes up at the end? What do you think about that? Some yeah. some people are turned off by that look. No, it's a, it's it's an attractive Western boot, and that's the way they should be. <laughs> a flat boot is 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 like a shoe, and shoes don't come up that much. This is this is for walking and and riding. That's what they're for. And then on the inside, that leather lining, it's super soft, and you have a traditional hard leather insole, too. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people that that's the best insole to have because it will form and shape to your foot over the years and months. Have you ever experienced that? That you're, you're going back to some other pair that did not have a hard leather sole, and, and what whatever they put in there started to peel. Yeah. It comes up, mm -hmm. and I had to replace it and re-glue it, but I, I see what you're saying, now I can feel it. I can feel the width of the, the hard leather all the way through. There was a store owner out in South Dakota. His name was Travis. Um, he, go, he owns Trav's Outfitters, <laughs> and he probably said it best. He said that the new modern made uh, boots that have that sort of removable insole that peels and breaks down, that's gonna be comfortable from day one, but that's the most comfortable it will ever be, and it will start to be less and less comfortable the more that you wear it. But a boot like this, when you first try it on, it's not going to be very comfortable. You have to break it in, and the more that you wear it, the more and more and more that comfortable it will become. And that leather, sort of like um sandals that have have the cork and the leather it'll fit to your foot yeah it'll form to your foot that's a good thing to say too because i believe that there is a cork filler on the inside of this between the two uh layers of hard leather on the insole and the outsole just a very very thin one that can take the shape of your foot if i'm wrong on that please correct me in the comments but i believe that jw boot company signature line does have a thin layer of cork in here these are made in Mexico, and they're coming in at $645 at jwbootcompany.com. But when you use my code JC10 at checkout, you can save 10% on your order. All right, Frank, now I think it's time for you to try on these boots to let us know how they look and feel. Okay. All right, Frank, how are they feeling? Feel great. They feel great. I love how the, the full leather base in there holds my feet. They're just the right size. They'll uh, they'll mold my feet in time, and the the natural curve gives me gives me a nice walking balance. And how about the blue pull up? Like, can you give us a bend of the boot? Yes. To see if it becomes any more blue. Yeah. If our viewers can see, it's just when I stretch my my foot when I when I put my toes down, the blue will change, as does the. The flexibility, very classy. It gives the boot character. You can see it here. Yeah, it does kind of have a little bit different coloring to it that's going to make it look more broken in a little bit more quickly, but also give it that character, too, yes. that you are talking about. Absolutely, yeah, and it's so important in a boot. It, if you wanted just a pair of black shoes, you can put black on them, but 
as we wear our boots, we like to have them develop a character. I got a song about that. It's called Old Boots Got Soul, S-O-U-L. <laughs> they do. They do, and it's a lot of stories. Yeah, very nice. And they're not too big on you. Uh, this brand is known for being a little bit big, at least this boot. Um, it's a, it runs about a full size large, but wow. it's okay on you. Yeah, it feels really, really good. It's, it goes on just similar to my other boots, and uh, there's a little bit of room in there, a little kick room, without being distracting at all. Can you pull over the pants just to show people what they look like normal? Yes. And the tops too, are um, they're nice and flush. They're not too fat. Some, sometimes a boot will have a wide top and you can't get a pair of straight legs over the top of them. That's a good point and really smart to mention too because that is very popular nowadays yeah. to have a wide top. And, and if you're a straight leg wearer, it can be difficult, you gotta shimmy them down and sometimes they get stuck halfway up. But uh, these these are nice, they're tight and the smoothness of the leather you can feel against your skin. Very, very comfortable. And there we go. There it is, folks. Love the look, classic style right there. Yeah, yeah it really is. Can you take those off just so yeah. that we could show them yep. for the, I know, I know you're excited to keep I them. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but we gotta show the folks at home. Yeah, they feel they feel fine. There's certainly room in the bow, but not enough to, to be disturbing it, and I, my foot doesn't shift in them. And that's good, because uh, you do want a little <clears throat> bit of heel slip, but you also want it to be snug up here so that boot just doesn't come flying off whenever you're trying to do something. I always think about like um, being on a roller coaster or something and having a wrong size boot and have it just fly off when you go around one of the corners or you know the ones that you hang from or something I'm always I'm always thinking about that <laughs> for some reason Boy. yeah no no they fit, feel good and a lot of times a new boot will right here where the the stitching is will, will poke you in your ankle but yeah there's none of that yeah, they did a good Straight job. Down. That's a good thing to mention. They did a good job trimming this, the um, inseam on the inside here, that little seam, so that it doesn't rub against the ankle because this boot, too, has an even, even narrower top than, than this one here, it looks like, maybe just oh, by a little bit. Uh -huh. um, and that is very dangerous for some folks who have, like, wider ankles or that little bone kind of pops out because that does kind of create an opportunity, especially if they don't trim it on the inside for that rubbing. And once that yeah. starts rubbing, man, that can get annoying yeah. real fast. Yeah. Yep, and the Band-Aid is only a temporary fix. And these are blue. So, uh, Frank, you work for Cayuga Health here in Ithaca, and you're also part of the Ithaca Rotary. Uh, Frank is the reason why I joined Ithaca Rotary. Uh, pretty much meeting them for the first time. So these are blue and go with everything that you do pretty That's much. It's true. The colors of the Cayuga Health System are blue, green, dark blue, light blue, and the green and rotary is blue and gold. So yeah, it fits right in. I wonder if anyone else will notice that at the club tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they better. <laughs> well, Frank, thank you so much thank for you. joining me on this video. Really Enjoy the it. boots. And Beautiful. guys, if you are interested in getting your own pair, uh, please head on over to jwbootcompany.com and check them out. And don't forget to use my code JC10 at checkout. That'll save you 10%. And at 645 dollars, that's uh, almost 65 dollars off, which can make a huge difference. So definitely consider it. Uh, these boots look great, and they're going to break in incredible too, with them being goat leather, kid skin leather. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and we'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Have a good one. The quality of JW's signature line is scary. I mean, did you just see those Votaries? You get them out the box, and they just scream, wear me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this JW signature line extended test review up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up here, and I will see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.